so this is my office. <sighs> Shed for the bikes and the whatever. Office for the whatever. Who knows what's going to happen in here? Lots of magic. Yep, this is my room. Welcome. Definitely put some rugs down. Okay, well, that's horrible. Uh, staircase. Up we go. Storage. First deck. Look at that. Timber floor. Straight through to the water. Hey, yeah, little glimpses through there, you know, it's fine. Be nicer in the morning actually to get a better reflection down through there. Uh, a bit of road noise, unfortunately, and the train will actually go past there every few, every little while. Every 15, not too noisy, but it's in a short, slow section, so it's not going to be hooking past. You know, it'll be fine. That's the enormous fucking long driveway that just goes and goes and goes all the way down. That's huge. And it's steep as fucking all hell as well. <laughs> And then it curves around here up to that, and then we've got like multiple vehicle parking under undercover there as well, so that's fine. Oh, nice little picnic area. Well, not a picnic, one of morning coffee. Watch the cars go by. Yeah, it's easy to see them through the clouds. So. Oh, I mean through the trees. That's cool. All right, main living area. Uh, new aircon points. Huge amount of space. Echo. Woo! Uh, here it will be the um, one bedroom. Bedroom one, I think we'll call it. Um, guest bedroom or not sure. Not sure, not sure, not sure. Okay. Uh, we're coming out here. What have we got here? We've got. Uh, very cool kitchen bench. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna fucking break, so yeah, it is. Don't lean on that. Do not lean on that. Oh, crikey. <laughs> um, kitchen, dishwasher, the drawers, new laminate. This is all new Renault. Actually, this is all recent new Renault, so that's pretty good. Uh, that's new, yeah, fucking induction, that's new, unfortunately. They should have left the fucking gas that would have been here. Pantry, totally fine. Fridge, new fridge will need. My fridge will go in the shed by the looks of it. Um, laundry, plenty of space. Blah, blah, blah. Um, upstairs, Dunny. Deck two. All right, so here we are right here. This is the special spot. Crikey, that. Whew. Gee, I hope we get this place. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get it. You know, we had a good chat with him yesterday. He seemed pretty, um, pretty satisfied with us, you know. We'll look after this place for sure. You know, this is special. So special. There we go, set the water through there again. <laughs> yeah, looks like I'll be doing the gutters. Yeah, that's one of the stipulations. I'll be maintaining the joint, <laughs> which I like doing anyway, so you know, that's great. Very happy to be doing that. Not bad at all. Oh, it goes and goes as well. Oh man, I reckon. Yeah, there'd easily be many pathways to the top of the hill here, and there will be spectacular views up there, I would say. Whew. 
My ankle won't handle it too well, but any friends and family who want to come and... Oh, there's caves up there. There's little caves up there. Oh, God. I reckon there's probably little... Interesting little things going on up there. Yeah, we'll zoom in. Oh, look at that. Yeah, oh, fucking caves. There's caves up in there. They're all caves. Oh, there's a big cave up there. There's a big cave up there. Oh, wild. No, it's just like spring. <sighs> All right, we're going through another door. Thank you for leaving the door open. I'm sure you left it open so we could do this. Either way, I'm moving up, so thank you. All right, let's go check out the bedrooms. Excuse me. Ample space, ample chill. Like there's literally two living areas in the space. You know, you got one living area there, one living area there. If you want to do your office or whatever. Um, so this is a forest room. It's quite large. Oh, look at that rainbow. That might be helpful. Just out of nowhere. Huh. Uh, forest. Yep. So you can wake up in the morning, like. I'd probably wake up there. Yeah, that'd be nice. Right there. Not for me, this room, but no, I've got work to do. So I'm downstairs looking after all that shit. This room, we need to rent to pay for the rent on this place. Um, bath. Look how deep that bath is. <laughs> Barely touched the bottom. So, yep, plenty there. Some vanity, very good. Hello, that's me. And then, yeah, that's that. That's that. And that's the view whilst you're having your bath. Women, huh. uh, uh, all fine, no problem. No falling apart. Fucking shells or anything. It's all actually good. Nick, this is Lauren's room. She gets the ensuite. She gets her own little forest shower. <sighs> Lucky Lauren, holy moly, get on here. <laughs> and this is a sizable room, not the biggest room. The other room is the biggest room. This is the smaller room, but that's fine for her. She can keep an eye on my fucking coming and going down there. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Nothing up. So good. Let's have a browse around outside. Oh, excuse me. Um, oh, good. Mystery. What do we have here? <laughs> A mysterious case. Dare I open it? <laughs> Crikey. Who the fuck is this guy? That's one of the weird things about this whole thing. I have no idea who this guy is or how he got my number. And how he got this place. <laughs> Cool as fuck. That's vintage. I reckon that's fucking working too. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Indeed. But what we've got here is basically like a workshop. A full workshop. So we get double garage, an office, and a full workshop. Blank canvas. Huh. <laughs> oh, crikey. Crikey, crikey, crikey. Hmm. And, uh, 
apparently the bins are a bit of a pain in the ass to take out. I'll show you why. <laughs> oh god. Look at My stealth bomber is gonna eat this driveway for breakfast. I'm gonna fly down there, I'm gonna jump that. Easy, that's a jump and a half. That's <laughs> a cuckoo. No problem there. And coming back up, I'll probably get a jump out of it as well. Fucking hell, that's great. Alright, cool. Uh, oh, well, if it isn't the Grim Reaper's fucking home. Is this how these come up? In loving memory, Thomas William Scott, eldest son of the late Thomas Scott, died 29 March 1903. Also, something something Scott, daughter of the late Thomas Scott, niece of Admiral Sir James Scott, KCB, died 12 December 1911. Rocky. Sorry, mate. Fuck. <laughs> Excuse me. Sir? Um, sacred to the memory of Maria and <laughs> Relict of the late Thomas Scott, who departed this life 19 August 1905, age 97 years. They will be won. No, they will be done. <laughs> Excuse me, buddy. Gee. Okay. Oof. Oh, really? So this place comes to its own gravesite. I wouldn't mind fucking dying here, to be honest. I could die very peacefully here, very happily. The old bloke that owns a joint just about to drop off the perch. I wonder if he wants to be buried here. Could do, you know. No, I don't know. Like, he's literally about to drop off his perch, that guy. So, no. Hmm. What's going to happen then? All right, let's check out this rock. I don't know if he's got family. Yeah, he's got family. Um, no, he didn't. he's got a son. He said he had a son. He told me the story. I can't remember now. Oh. Love these new boots. Ah, fucking miracles. <laughs> so good. Um. <clears throat> hmm. I'll brush that off. Keep that clear. Nine hundred bucks a week. Not bad. Two, four, six, eight plus twenty-five each is nine hundred. Two twenty-five a piece. No wait, is that right? Two twenty-five, four fifty, nine hundred. That's right. Uh, yeah, let's work that out. I fucking love with this fucking place. Oh, Jesus. Like, I've lived in nice places, a lot of nice places over the last 20 odd years. And this surpasses. This is like everything, like, except for not having a pool. This is like everything, the amalgamation of all the really cool places I've lived in over the years, you know, all sort of jammed together into one place. <sighs> but, if you want a pool, you just go to Putty Beach and have a swim there. You can get yourself healed and cleaned up. 
Oh, there's more rocks down there, perch. I'm gonna go down there. Anyway, okay, so here's possibly our new place. So yes, very excited. Thank you for tuning in.